Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minecraft video and welcome to all my new subscribers to the channel. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my content. And now what we're going to do for this video is a small survival home that we have on the screen right now. And now for all the new subscribers that haven't saw my recent video, uh, I actually showed this house and uh, just to get this out the way because I have been getting this question a lot. And we are going to be doing a full tutorial on this one. And it's going to be a really easy tutorial, so if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe so you can see this nice house. So, uh, But anyway, we're going to be doing this small survival home. And uh, what I like about this home is it's more of a cabin type, uh, type, of, type of deal here. And uh, it's not the regular survival home that you would see if you was just to join a world or just think of off the back. And I think I uh, designed it really good, so... Uh, I'm just going to give you a full arrow view right here, and it is all reasonable materials that I'm going to be using in this video, but uh, you don't have to use the same materials as me, obviously, if you want to go, you know, beyond what I do, if you want to use some quartz, some filler quartz or something, just go crazy. So, um, since I did a full arrow view, um, obviously, I don't have any uh, interior right here. But on the next uh, tutorial, if you want to see a full interior while I do that tutorial, I could just kind of fly in here uh, in the next video and you can see what Sloth did. So anyway, uh, we're going to go over to my slot where I have it all laid out for you guys. And uh, we're going to do this tutorial. So uh, this is going to be something new. Obviously, you know, I like, uh, you know, trying new things just to help the tutorial. And uh, what we're going to be doing is I laid out a lot so it could be easier for me and you so I could do the um, tutorial fluent and obviously you can see I'm working on that lot right now it's kind of difficult but I know I can do it so uh, like I said this the difficulty of this house is really easy and you're gonna be doing it you know you, you, you're gonna learn it when you do this tutorial you're not gonna have to refer back to this video but if you do that's okay so what we're gonna do is uh, I just want to explain like how the blocks is gonna go uh, so obviously wherever you see a block on the ground it's gonna be the, the direct same block that you're gonna be using other than the black so um, the black represents the the gardens that we're gonna be using that spawns the animals for survival so uh, don't mind the black too much until um, I start talking about it so what we're gonna do we're gonna get your materials out that you're gonna be needed and we're gonna have all that good stuff on the screen right now but uh, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial so what we're gonna do we're gonna place our first block where you want your block obviously I'm gonna be following the pattern that I have laid out on the ground and we're gonna be using our spruce wood right here and we're gonna place our first block then with the oak wood we're gonna be using it for the foundation and the reason why I chose oak wood just because if you don't want to add the gardens around it it still would be a nice house so uh, we're going to be adding the oak wood right in the middle and we're going to add one, two, three, four, and five blocks right in the middle. And on each side we're going to have a spruce wood like that. So once again, don't mind the black wood. We're not going to be adding that just yet. We're going to use that at the end of the video. So once we have this, we're going to be adding some more blocks to the left. And uh, obviously we're going to be going this way. We're going to be going counterclockwise. So, nope, we're going to be going clockwise, I'm sorry. I'm not good. I'm not good with the whole clockwise and shit like that. But anyway, we're going to start building some more blocks. And now what we're going to do, we're going to add our oak wood, and we're going to go over three to the left. So one, two, and three. Then with the spruce wood, we're just going to place another block right there. So once we have that, we're going to add the foundation of some more blocks. And now we're just going to be keep going left. So from this spruce wood block right here, this is not going to be visible from the outside of the house. But it will be visible from the inside of the house. And it looks really good since you obviously can't see this one from the, inner, the inside of the house. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go over from this spruce wood block. We're going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 blocks of oak wood planks. And on each side, we're going to have a spruce wood block, like so. So these uh, oak wood uh, planks right here represent where the deck is going to be at. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that too much either until we place the door. So once we have that, we're going to go over three blocks right here. 
from the right of this block right here we're gonna go over to the right so three blocks with the oak wood planks and with spruce wood we're gonna place a block on each side obviously so what we can do now is we're gonna add our deck so with the oak wood we're just gonna line it up with this oak wood right here and we're just gonna go all the way across and uh, this is kind of like a material type build so uh, I wish I could actually count all the blocks but I'm too lazy but if you want me to I can probably put it in the description for uh, people that's more lazier than me and I don't think that's possible but what we're gonna do we're gonna go fully across from this spruce wood uh, to that spruce wood we're just gonna connect it with a full row of oak wood planks so what we could do now is we can continue turning to the left so what we have is we have a spruce wood then we have three blocks of oak wood and planks then we have another spruce wood so what we can do now is we can start right here where the side where the chimney chimney's at and you don't necessarily have to use the chimney uh, I just think it's you know kind of awesome so what we're gonna do we're gonna place two blocks from this spruce wood uh, just block right there we're just gonna place two blocks and uh, right here is where the chimney is gonna be at so it's not gonna be visible from the inside so uh, for the sake we're gonna just add three oak woods so one two and three then we're gonna be getting our bricks out and we're just gonna go three right there so it goes two, then three. That's where the chimney's at. And then we're gonna be going up, obviously, with the rest of the house. So uh, just pay attention right here. So what we're gonna do from this side of the chimney, from the left side of the chimney, we're gonna go up, well, to the side, one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks. And obviously we're gonna place a spruce wood since it's on the ground. So once you have that, we're gonna be turning to our left again. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add these back little pillars in. And it's going to be four gaps with the oak wood planks. So one, two, three, four, place a spruce wood. One, two, three, and four, place a spruce wood. And one, two, three, four, place a spruce wood. So uh, as, uh, as you can see, I can't speak, uh, there's going to be gardens all the way around. And it kind of looks like a heart. But uh, the garden plays a big role in survival, so you can, you know, you can make the garden whatever you want. So right here, uh, we're gonna be taking daylight saving time off, just so I see it kind of getting dark. And uh, if it rains, I'm gonna cut the video because I hate the rain. Okay, sorry about that. My recording start uh, stopped a little, a little bit on me. So uh, what we have now is this side of the house. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go over to the left, and we're going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks. So once you go over seven, we're going to place another spruce wood, and we're going to go over seven more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So once we have that part, we have the full foundation of the house. And now what we're going to do now is we're going to bring the house to life and we're going to actually make it go up. So what we're going to do, we're going to be building this part of the house first, uh, which is the, you know, the first part of the window, the biggest window in the front actually. So, so what we're going to do now is uh, wherever you see a spruce wood, we're going to be building it up too. And uh, we're going to have the foundation of the birch wood. And if you add the garden, this is what you're going to see. Uh, you're just going to, you know, obviously see where the birch wood is right there. But uh, we're going to break them blocks. So once we have that, we're going to add these glass panes. And it's going to be three by two. So three in the middle. And we're going to add another layer. And on each side, we're just going to go up two with the birch wood planks. And with the spruce wood, we're going to go up to again, like so. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add another spruce wood uh, higher than the level of the house. And we're just going to add this little side wood feature right here just to give it some detail. And we're going to be doing that throughout the whole house. So if you're doing it in this in survival, make sure you get used to that. Kind of using dirt to build up and things like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn to the left once again, and this is just going to be a full plain wall, 
and uh, right here we're just gonna obviously add it to the you know the height of the house and now we're just gonna connect it like so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue moving to the left and uh, to add the door the door is actually gonna be on the deck so the door is gonna be right here so what we're gonna do we're just gonna continue working this way so what you're gonna do you're gonna place four blocks this way so one two three and four then what we're gonna do we're gonna get our door out and we're gonna place the two doors right here and uh, right now all you have to do is place a window window pane right there glass pane whatever you want to call it and uh, it's gonna be right in the middle right there at the two and we're just gonna go two on both sides and connect it like we've been doing the rest of the house and uh, obviously we're just gonna continue going with the side spruce wood and uh, all you have to do is outline this part right here just a full plain wall no window and uh, just outline the door and what we're gonna do we're gonna bring this uh, spruce wood up obviously and we're just gonna bring it all the way up and connect it like so so once we have that what we're gonna do we're gonna be laying out the deck a little bit and now all you have to do is this last uh, pillar that we place all you have to do is skip three blocks and place a spruce wood block and we're going to be building that all the way up and we're going to be connecting each side together like so and if you want to right now we, you could just fill this in with some oak wood I believe the first build I added oak wood I don't know it's been so long but uh, that's what we're going to do for the sake of the tutorial that looks nice so once we have that we're going to continue moving to the left and uh, this is where we're going to be adding implementing the chimney so right here is obviously a full wall of just uh, birch wood so just add the full work the full wall of uh, two so just keep going up three and uh, what we're gonna do um, obviously the chimney is not gonna be showing in the inside of the house so we're just gonna add the same foundation and we're just gonna use the birch wood and we're gonna go all the way up like that and now uh, we could continue adding the chimney as we go with the house so uh, just do what I just did right there it can't be that hard so what we're gonna do um, we're gonna add this foundation for the birch wood and we're gonna oh, excuse me and we're gonna go all the way across and we're gonna add the birch on um, the spruce wood right there another plank up so now we're gonna be adding the window and uh, first all you have to do on each side is add a birch wood plank then it's, it's going to be really easy to indicate where the window is going to be at. So we're going to add a spruce wood on each side. And in the middle, add a, a glass pane. So like that. And on top, obviously, we, um, like we've been doing around the house, except that first part right there, we're going to add a full layer of our birch wood. And I obviously just keep going up and adding this side wood feature, like so. And I make sure you take that uh, chimney up a little bit more to match the house. So once we have that, we're going to be adding some more left turning. And uh, right here is the easiest back of a house that you're probably ever going to do. But uh, it kind of looks nice just because you know it's going to be hard to build in survival. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to be outlining these windows. And I'm going to do one window, I'm going to explain it, and every window is the same, so once I explain it, I shouldn't have to explain it because it's the, you know, the exact same. So all you have to do, right on top of this oak wood plank, add a full layer of birch wood planks. And now all you have to do, obviously, is add two uh, window panes and add your, your uh, planks on each side. And that's what you're going to be doing for all these uh, oak wood planks on the back side of the house so um, we're gonna do that really quick and uh, if you haven't liked the video already and you're enjoying it you know show some love or leave a good comment saying how good I did on a tutorial or something uh, just the fact because I like uh, I actually like coming back to you guys even the people that leave hate comments because I mean you still take your time to view my videos so you're still showing love if you you know show hate in the comments so I really don't care so continue going up and uh, voila so we're done with the back the back wall 
And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna continue going this way to the left. And the left is really easy. Um, both windows are exactly the same. And now what we're gonna do is um, on each side, we're just gonna do a full layer of our birch wood planks. And I make sure you bring that spruce wood up with it. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a three window, but first on each side, add a birch wood plank on each side so it can indicate where to put the windows. And on each side, add a spruce wood block and some glass panes. And uh, once again, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter because if you have some questions to ask me, that's your best option to, you know, ask. Because uh, it's not too many people that are familiar familiar about my uh, my Twitter, so um, that's the best way because the YouTube comment kind of get uh, kind of hectic of me uh, coming in back to you guys, all of them. But I try to do my best, so. Uh, I just did the foundation so it's going to be a three window on each side and now we can kind of start taking the house up a little bit so this is what we're going to do um, if you want to add the flooring you can right now or you can just wait until I do it at the, the end but uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to add a roof to this thing so the roof is really really easy uh, what we're going to do now is add a full layer of some birchwood planks all the way around the house. So all you have to do is go all the way around a full layer at that. So add a full layer all the way around just to make it look cool. But no, you're not going to see it in the outside of the house just because of the roof is covering it. It's just, you know, a foundation so you can add the, the stairs. So we're gonna bring out our spruce wood and if you want if you don't want to use spruce wood that's uh, your own opinion. I just thought it kinda looks kinda cool. Uh so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the roof to the left. We're gonna start off to the left over here. And now all you have to do is add a kind of like a step feature. And now what we're gonna be doing is going up five with that feature. So um, we can break these corner blocks right here and add a spruce wood. And I once you have that, it's going to be really easy what I mean by a uh, step feature. So what you're going to do, you're going to continue going like so. And we're going to do this uh, four more times actually from uh, this block. So it's going to be one, then two, then three, then four. So it's going to be five and counting on this little diagonal path. So one, two, three, four, five. Plus this one that we just added. So six blocks. And we're going to do that on both sides. And now, like I said, this house is really easy to make. It's kind of like a beginner style house. I kind of like making those just because you guys uh, love them so much. So uh, what we're going to be doing now is we're just going to add a full you know full window right here and all you have to do is fill this in with some birch wood so just go all the way across like so and we're gonna go all the way on top of that and we're gonna stop right here just because the roof is gonna be right here on this block right there so uh, with on both sides we're gonna actually add that so uh, I can actually talk a little bit. So uh, if there's a tutorial that you want to see, if it's a style house that you want me to make, or if you want to see a tutorial really bad, or um, the new Alex skin pack, or you could just say the original uh, Alex, or however you want to say the TU what 24. I don't know. I lost count since I stopped doing the whole update videos but yeah it was the new skin pack if you're not familiar about that um, I'll show you at the end of this video if I remember but uh, anyway um, what was I saying about the Alex skin pack yeah so uh, it looks it looks really nice if you ask me uh, it's you know just new skins that I can make a tutorial on uh, nothing too big since it was only eight girl skins but if you want to see that if you're a fan of that 
just let me know in the comments and uh, I actually do uh, look and considering to you know do all your you guys requests I'm just trying to get all mine out the way first so once we have that uh, you know complete what we're gonna do we're gonna start adding this roof and the roof is really easy all you have to do is get the spruce wood and do a full layer all the way across right actually where this uh, birch wood is that's why I was saying that you're not gonna be able to see it but uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna continue going and on each side we're gonna go one off the original placing of the house so it's gonna be one off on each side and now what we're gonna do we're just gonna add the step feature all the way on the top of the house so just continue until you hit that tip top on the top and uh, we add the side uh, what the the stairs as we go so you don't have to worry about that so you're just gonna continue going all the way up and uh, I would fast forward it but people kind of complain about me not doing the work on the camera or the video whatever and uh, obviously um, it's gonna be a really easy roof and I might have to refer back to it over there for this top part so I can get it all the way down but I won't take as long and we're just gonna go both sides all the way across and over here we're actually gonna do the same thing and now this is uh, once again one of my favorite uh, survival homes that I made I don't know why just because it kind of looks cool and I I kind of remembered how to do it because uh, a lot of people can't really remember you know their bills that they that they do on a tutorial so I try to make it as slow as possible so you can you know just get the hang of it so we're at 14 minutes on this second part I don't know how long the first part was but we are gonna continue and we are gonna begin this done with one part of the house and obviously like I said in the beginning uh, if you want to see some interior I probably uh, show some interior I just kinda kinda run in the house once I do my next house tutorial so you guys don't have to worry about that I got you so um, what we have now is we have to add some windows and uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna bring this chimney up all the way up all the way up until you hit that tip part of the house and now once you have that we're gonna be adding some spruce wood slabs just to give it a little bit more design and I almost forgot to add the upside down stair feature so all you have to do is go upside down I don't know how you're gonna do this in survival but uh, I didn't really think about it but uh, just to make it look more appealing add the upside down stairs if you can't do it in survival don't you know sweat it it's gonna still look good but uh, once we have that uh, we're gonna be adding this full layer on top so what I need to do is refer back to what I did over here uh, just because I don't remember but uh, we're gonna get it done so what I did was do a layer let's see do a layer go on top one two three four five okay I think we can do it so we're just gonna fly back over here so what we did is I did a full layer then I added two yep yep we did it good so um, we're gonna add another layer on top um, right here and all you have to do is connect this part with the other part and uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be breaking this part right here and adding the chimney through the roof like so so once you have that make sure you don't forget about this upside down stair like so so once we have that we're gonna be done with this side of the house uh, but uh, first we have to add a window so on each side just break out two blocks a two by two block and we're gonna be adding identical windows so just like so one two and I think that I might change a little bit I don't know I just want to see what I did over here 
but I think I am gonna change this build a little bit. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep it like that. Uh, so what I did um, right here is just uh, keep this this bottom layer right here, and I break two blocks on top of it. And let me back up so you can understand what I'm saying. So once you have that, just add that same window on each side and uh, use the glass panes because they look more smooth. I don't know what it is. I mean, you can use glass, but glass panes are more smooth. So once you have that, uh, we're going to be adding the same. Is it the same window? It's a different window to the other side, but it's going to be really easy to do. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a six window in the middle or seven I'm not for sure but I will count it out for you guys so uh, what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna add this this middle pillar right here we're gonna use that for a reference and uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna skip two blocks and we're gonna use the bricks for the placement so we're gonna just add two blocks right there and this is where the window is gonna be like so we're gonna place a window right here so we know where it's going to be at so from here all you have to do is go three on each side so one two three and one two three so it's going to be a seven window then all you have to do is kind of make a little uh, pyramid style type of thing here and all you have to do is add it all the way across if i can add these panes there we go oh wrong block and I just add it all the way across. So uh, I actually like that window because it's something you know different. So all you have to do, like we did over there, is add some of uh, another full layer of the you know the roofing. And I was just gonna go all the way across, and it should connect up. And we're gonna do this on this side also. So just go all the way across, one off, and we're going to connect it like we did over there. And now make sure you add this uh, little little detail right there like we did over there. But uh, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to be adding, I think I added slabs on top, but I'm not sure, but we are going to check. So did I add slabs? I had a full block. Yeah. We're just going to add a full block of uh, spruce wood. So we're going to go all the way over here. And we're going to be adding our spruce wood all the way across. And we're actually going to have to break this block right here. I'm sorry. And I just go all the way across with the spruce wood. And uh, that's going to be the end of the whole roofing uh, tutorial portion of this tutorial. So just go all the way across. Then... We're going to be done with the whole exterior of the house, or well, you know, the foundation. Then all we have to do is the gardens. And I believe that would be it. And we have to work on the deck a little bit. But uh, anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to get started with the whole deck portion. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to add this portion right here. And it's going to be a full layer right in front of these oak wood planks. So we have that. And what we're going to do is, let's see, did I add some more detail? I'm just trying to get the full, you know, full thing down. Yeah, I missed um, the slabs over here. So we're going to be adding these slabs right and the upside down stairs. My apology, I'm just trying to rush through this tutorial. I don't know what's going on. So just add these upside down stairs really quick. Then we're going to be adding this feature just to make it, you know, just more detailed. The more detail is the more appealing to the eye. So um, now we can work on the deck. So the deck is uh, really easy, but I'm going to change it up a little bit uh, just so I don't have to keep going back and forth. So this is where um, we're going to be breaking for the stairs. So you can add stairs right there. And right here is going to be some oak wood planks. And we're going to be adding some fences all the way around. So let's go ahead and get some fences out. Some 
regular fences and we're going to replace it with the brick and right here you could just go all the way across with the fence and uh, right here wherever you see a black that's where we're going to be adding the garden at so we're going to be placing a block right in front of this spruce wood block and we're going to go diagonal one then over three then diagonal up and diagonal and it should be uh, symmetrical then what we're going to do we're going to get some grass blocks out and we're going to replace it with the glass panes and all you have to do is fill it in with uh, grass and you can get some uh, bone mill and uh, we can replace it with the spruce wood and now uh, you can just bone mill it and uh, once we add the fences around animals actually spawn I don't know if they spawn in a two block radius I don't know about them spawning in the front uh, portion but on the sides and also the back it also spawns so uh, it's, it's really good for survival purposes and uh obviously what we're gonna do here is add the deck and we're gonna be adding these fences all the way across and uh, we're gonna get out an anvil I got some ideas so we're gonna get out an anvil place an anvil right there and get out some stone walls and go all the way up with the anvil like so so once you have that I think we're gonna add this part backwards a little bit like so yeah and we're gonna add this fence backwards one more time too uh do I like that no we're just gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it like we did like so so we're gonna have that so we can have some more deck space and uh, you can actually add like a chair right there with the fin with the um, signs on each side so I'm just trying to give you some ideas you know just building purposes and uh, yeah so we have that part done and uh, what we can do we can add this uh, little uh, garden over here so we're gonna be adding it right on the front of this spruce wood block right here we're gonna be placing a block and we're gonna go diagonal and then we're gonna go over two then over two again so so far we have that little you know formation then right here in the middle we're gonna go over one two three four and five blocks then we're gonna go up two, up two, then diagonal two. so let me fly up so you can see what we did and uh, obviously what we did over there uh, we just added the grass blocks in the middle then we're gonna bone mill them and uh, if I hopefully they are spawn while, while we're doing this tutorial so you can actually see they do spawn and now let's go ahead and get some bone meal so we can bone meal this part of it really quick and I forgot to add some oh, no, wrong block one two like so so once you have that just bone mill it like so then what we're gonna do we're just gonna add these fences all the way across and the animals can't get out the fence even if you know you can obviously the animals can't get out the fence I don't know why it's like that but it is so once you have this we're gonna be adding some more oak wood so we're gonna go over two or we'll diagonal two then we're gonna go diagonal two again like so then right here is gonna be four blocks so one two three four then two then two then one so let me fly up so you can understand what I'm saying and uh, we could just add these grass blocks really quick and we're at 26 minutes with all the explaining but I think that's a good timing just for you know one part so once we have that just go all the way across and we're gonna be adding the fences all the way like that just go all the way across and we're gonna be bone milling this like so so once we have that we're gonna be adding this last garden over here then we'll be done with the tutorial so uh, it's the same thing it's the two then two then it's gonna be one two three four and five then two two and one then quickly add the grass like so and once you have this we're gonna bone mill it and add the fences 
then we officially be done like that like so and uh, if you have a hard time you know keeping up with me going fast just just pause the video um, once I do a full arrow view of how it looks so once you have that what we're gonna do is now enjoy your house and hopefully everyone enjoyed this tutorial because I did and I just want to show you a little bit that you can add uh, that I'm not going to add in this video but uh, you can add the cobwebs and uh, you can add uh, you know some lighting so the creepers don't blow up your stuff but uh, anyway like I said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh, because I enjoyed making the tutorial for you guys but uh, what we're going to do now is call it quits and hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and if you haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe for more Minecraft content and uh, my name is Jay, Jay Master Gaming, and peace out.